These are the 20 craziest goals in Premier League history. And at number 20, Tim Howard proves that even goalkeepers can score when they're desperate for a win. Back to their keeper, Tim Howard. Another really long clearance. Yeah, man. All from his own penalty area? I thought stuff like this only happened in amateur football, but apparently not, because Sun made an entire team look like amateurs. So now. Wow, that was just absolutely cruel. He crossed 90 yards and left eight players' leg in the dust. Only a world-class player could do that. But it wasn't an award-winning goal like number 18. It was the first game after the winter break, and Arsenal wasn't doing well. They got so frustrated that Arsenal's trainer couldn't even control himself. He even started assaulting the other coaches. Giroud knew that it was his time to step up and save the day. That goal finally put a smile on his coach's face again. He even won the Puskas Award for that goal. And if you think these goals are crazy, wait until we get to the top five. But first up, I want to show you what Dele Alli did to Crystal Palace. Dele Alli, nice turn, and with the volley, and with the goal! Rumor has it Yedidak is still looking for that ball. But what Dennis Burkham did to his opponent actually left him noxious. Loudon. This is Burkamp. Oh, wonderful skill from Dennis Burkamp! Wait, whoa, I'm getting dizzy myself. Play it back one more time. All right, that's some insane skill. Just like the 18-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo had, even though he had just touched down in Manchester and hardly spoke English. Are you feeling more and more confident with each game? I <laughs> not understand. Just look at that. But what can I say? My boy Ronaldo prefers to let his feet do the talking. Pace. All the way through it! That was Ronaldo's first out of many goals in the UK. But it's not the craziest in Man United's history, because that one almost caused Sir Alex Ferguson a heart attack? That bicycle kick was so beautiful, the club crowned Rooney with her goal of the decade award. I bet my boy company also expected to get a trophy for his goal. Man City was only two games away from winning the league. Everything was on the line and Guardiola was losing it. Top scorer Aguero tried to save the day, but even his insane header couldn't cross the line. City were losing hope and feared losing the title. But in the 70th minute, company took a leap of faith and... Company, perhaps you have a shot here, yes, rest is history. That goal gave them the final push to win their seventh Premier League title. And that's something Eric Lamella can only dream of. You see, Lamella played for Roma and he scored one goal after the other. So when he made the transfer to North London in 2013, he was expected to be the Spurs' golden boy. But he just couldn't find his way there. During his first two years, he only scored six times. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. So nobody saw this goal coming. Yeah, for a split second, we saw the skills that he had. But only a few months after the Spurs got rid of him, he was swapped for Brian Hill from Sevilla. And to be honest, that's something they never would have done with Gareth Bale. Goals at the Hawthorns. Bale tries a shot! Oh, it's a blinder from Gareth Bale! Yeah, that goal went so viral that Real Madrid made Tottenham an offer they couldn't refuse. $130 million, making it the most expensive transfer at the time. But still, that goal was only 22 yards. Now we're in the top 10. My boy Rooney will show you what a real long distance goal looks like. Sent straight back by Rooney. What a goal! You see, Rooney started off his professional career at Everton, and he was so talented, young Wayne didn't play there for very long. Man United wanted him so badly that they locked him in for 13 years, making him a club icon. But Rooney never forgot about his roots and rejoined Everton in 2017. And on his return, he did this. And he finds Wayne Rooney. Rooney has a little look up. Goes for goal! Oh, and scores a fantastic goal! That's 59 yards. You know what? That also reminds me of another legend returning back home, Cherry Hari. After leaving Arsenal for Barcelona in 2007, the French striker finally made his comeback to North London five years later. And my boy Cherry proved to be the perfect super sub because he only needed 10 minutes to open the score. Oh, three for Henri. What a moment! It just had to be Thierry Henri. Yeah, Henry showed that he's still at it. But that goal wasn't as impressive as number eight on the list. Making a trademark run again. What a finish! A magnificent goal by Robbie Van Persie! That 
commentator was right on the money about that. Von Persie did win the goal of the season with that magnificent volley. So don't get me wrong, he's got great skills, but that was only 22 yards. Danny Rose can do that in his sleep. This volley had less than 1% chance of going in. Full speed, box filled with 13 players, and only a split second to decide? Yeah, that's what you call a dream debut at Tottenham. But imagine something even crazier, like in 2009. Drogba onside. Can he pick someone out? Yeah! Look at the angle, the defenders all around him, and then use his wrong foot to lift the ball right over the goalkeeper. But hey, finally we made it to the top five, and things are getting even crazier from here. Starting off with the pride of Egypt, Mohamed Salah. My man was on a winning streak, seven consecutive games with a goal, and now up against one of the Premier League's best teams. In the 75th minute, Salah wanted to put Man City in their place. Salah doesn't have anything to work with there, but he somehow kept the ball. Incredible feat by Mohamed Salah, and he goes on. Oh, my word! You will never see a better goal. He made every single one of those defenders look like a noob. Man City Strider got so furious, he couldn't even control himself anymore. Sit down! Nobody talk! Sit down! The only thing more humiliating than that is what Drogba did to Everton. Chelsea once again. Drogba Sheffield! What? That man has a magical first touch. The way he controlled the ball on his chest, let it bounce, and it charged it up to shoot a simply iconic shot. It was perfect. It even dropped right on time, so that goalkeeper had no chance of reaching it. Just like number three. During Cristiano's last season before leaving Madrid, he was unstoppable. He scored 42 goals in all competitions, making him UEFA Player of the Year and winning the Ballon d'Or for the first time. So no wonder Manchester received a record-breaking $131 million for him. Him. But before leaving the UK, Ronaldo did something that United fans would never forget. Now Ronaldo, long way out. What a goal! Not too far out for him. Here he comes. Oh my word! Can you believe the genius of this man? Damn, my man really knows how to throw a curve. But now the moment we've all been waiting for. The greatest goal in Premier League history. It was the final match of the season. Manchester City needed to win this game, otherwise United would win the league overall. Everything was on the line, and City took the lead early in the game. Into Zabaleta, good hit! It's in! It's in! Things were looking good until Queen's Park's Rangers scored the equalizer. Splits it on. Oh, Lescott's headed backwards, and it's Cissé for QPR! City began to lose hope, and only when they thought things could get worse, Mackey did this. He has options in the area. Oh, Mackey's arriving! Manchester United fans were already celebrating and thought they had it in the bag. But luckily for City, Dzeko was brought into the game and did this. Here's Silva, swings it in, Dzeko's there, it's in! City have got to go back! And with those four minutes left, Sergio Aguero knew it was all up to him. Aguero, if anyone can, it's him. Back to Balotelli, it runs for Aguero! They do it! Manchester City are the champions of England! And Aguero gets it in any long time! Have you ever seen anything like this before? Everyone's out on the pitch celebrating! Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button right here so you don't miss any of our future videos.